Recently, I took part in the production of this animation. What the? <laughs> oh, sorry. Not this one. It's actually this unofficial one. Hey, Pomni. I know you're struggling. This project was fun, but very challenging in two ways. The latter half of the video shows me drawing Pomni on a Starbucks cup. Wow, look how Christmassy this cup was. Her challenge was, I didn't have any previous experience drawing on a coffee cup. Every stroke was like stepping in the unknown. And the finished product? Isn't too bad, is it? I decided to turn this Pomni into a hand-drawn animation, which was the second challenge to me. I planned this was only a seven second animation, but it took me seven hours to finish. By the end of the video, we'll learn two simple steps to create this animation. Let's dive in. First, I made the draft drawings of the whole sequence. I mostly drew on threes or fours, but some fast actions I drew on twos. The purpose of this draft was to get a feeling of how the animation would look. The timing and the posture did not have to be perfect for now, but this stage was very important because it gave me a framework to work on the details. The second step was to color my draft drawings. As well as fine tuning the timing and postures, I kept reviewing Pomni's movement whenever I colored a few new frames. This was to make sure the action looked realistic. I was also able to spot the problem and fix it early. You know, it's always painful to go back when you realize a problem after you finalize everything. The animation was pretty much complete. All I needed to do was to composite the scene in After Effects. Here's the final result. The shot was handheld, but I managed to blend the animation quite well into the scene. I'm quite satisfied with it. The link to the final video is in the description. You want to learn more about hand-drawn animation? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.